Sellout crowd, another thing to look forward right. to, and a historic rivalry, the Battle of the Axe is always one of the biggest and craziest high school football games of the year. You are correct, ma'am. Today, News 12's Garrett Stringfellow takes a look at what local law enforcement is doing ahead of the big game. While Touchdown Alley here outside Munson Stadium in Denison is empty right now, on Friday it will be filled with football fans ready to take in the Battle of the Axe. This is uh, probably the biggest annual event between Sherman and Denison, and coming with that is uh, the, the uh, emphasis on safety and security. With more fans comes more potential for trouble. On occasion, there's a, a, an individual or two or maybe even one of our students that make a poor decision, and uh, we, we deal with stuff like that. But Denison ISD Police Chief Paul Newman says there will be plenty of watchful eyes on Friday. We as a district will have uh, all of our ISD PD there. Sherman will be bringing all of their ISD PD, and then, of course, we'll have a significant presence from the city of Denison as well. He says that visibility is key. Visibility is a deterrent for those who, who choose to make poor decisions. We want our stakeholders to uh, enjoy the game and not have to worry about anything else that's going on in the stadium. If you do happen to notice something concerning, Newman says don't hesitate to let an officer know. Especially at an event of this magnitude, if uh, someone sees something that just doesn't seem right, uh, see something, say something. And make sure to follow Denison's new clear bag policy. Clear totes, small clutches, and diaper bags are good. No purses, solid totes, or backpacks, and no drink tumblers. The, the biggest challenge is, is, is be patient. We're here to, to make sure that everybody has a good time and enjoys the game and then gets home safely. In Denison, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.